So I've talked about how the Republican Party wasn't too happy about Biden's decision to cancel ten to twenty thousand dollars worth of student loans because they claim that this is a giveaway to the wealthy. Comically so. It's incredibly disingenuous and idiotic, as I explained in that video. They don't care about tax cuts or uh, benefits unless they go specifically to elites. But when it comes to policies that help working class Americans, that's when they're irate. Now, one of the individuals, curiously so, who decided to speak up is Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now, for her to say what she's going to say, and you're going to see this in a moment here, it's incredibly rich. It's incredibly hypocritical. And you probably can already suspect why I'm calling her a hypocrite, because of course, she's taken out some loans. And I'll tell you what happened to those loans after we see what she said about student loans being forgiven. Let's watch. For our government just to say, you know, okay, well, your debt is completely forgiven. Obviously, they have an agenda for that. They need votes in November. So the timing is a pure coincidence there as well. But it's completely unfair. And taxpayers all over the country, taxpayers that never took out a student loan, taxpayers that pay their bills and, and, and you know, maybe even never went to college or just hardworking people, they shouldn't have to pay off the great big student loan debt for, for some college student that piled up massive debt going to some Ivy League school. That's not fair. First of all, you nitwit. If you go to an Ivy League school, odds are your parents were pretty wealthy, wealthy enough to foot the bill. I don't know anyone who has student debt that went to an Ivy League school. I mean, I'm sure that it is a thing, but we're not talking about elites here. Like, this is always the framing from media and often from politicians. They make it seem as if people who have student debt, well, they're wealthy. I mean, if you have wealth if you're rich you wouldn't have student debt in the first place but when it comes to cancellation specifically 87 percent of recipients of student debt cancellation make less than seventy-five thousand dollars annually we are talking about working class americans here not elites but let's get to the crux of her argument quote to say your debt is completely forgiven it's completely unfair so debt should not be forgiven right marjorie okay well uh Let's check the status of her $182,300 PPP loan for her construction business, Taylor Commercial Inc. Looks like the status of that loan in its entirety was forgiven. But let's remember what she said in that video, quote, taxpayers that pay their bills and maybe even never went to college who are just hardworking people, they shouldn't have to pay off the great big student loan debt. So other people shouldn't have to pay off other people's debts. Unless... It's a $182,300 PPP debt for Marjorie Taylor Greene's construction company. Why do I have to pay that off? I don't benefit from her construction company. Why does your tax dollars have to go to Marjorie Taylor Greene, somebody who is already extremely wealthy? Seems a little bit unfair based on her standards, does it not? But yet, she's outraged that people would have their loans forgiven after she had her loans forgiven. What a fucking insufferable hypocrite. And she's not alone because many members of Congress had PPP loans. And guess what? They were all forgiven. As Hassan points out, this includes Matt Gates. He had a $476,000 PPP loan that was forgiven in its entirety. Same with Greg Pence. Vern Buchanan, who had a $2.8 million PPP loan. Holy shit. Kevin Hearn, Roger Williams, Brett Guthrie with a $4.3 million PPP loan. All of that was forgiven by daddy government. Ralph Norman, Ralph Abraham, Mike Kelly had almost $1 million. Vicki Hartzler, Mark Wayne Mullen, another one who almost had $1 million forgiven by the government. Carol Miller with $3.1 million. All of these members of Congress, they took out PPP loans and had that forgiven. But yet we see mass hysteria from the GOP after Biden announces that he's canceling a measly 10 $20,000 from student loan holders who are strapped with this debt and have been struggling to pay it off for years now. Can't buy homes, can't buy cars, can't move out of their parents' homes. But yet, that's egregious. But members of Congress, who are already extremely wealthy, taking out PPP loans from the government and then having that forgiven, not a problem at all. Now, you know, whether or not they're hypocrites, these individuals in particular, perhaps they're not as hypocritical as Marjorie Taylor Greene, but they're certainly selfish. 
Because in 2019, Ilhan Omar introduced the Student Debt Cancellation Act. And do you want to know how many members of this group who took out PPP loans co-sponsored that legislation? I'll let you take a guess. The number is zero. Zero. None of them supported that legislation, but yet they welcomed their loans being forgiven to the tune of millions of dollars in some cases. But yet it's really bad that you had your student loan forgiven a little bit. Like you still probably have it, but you know, $10,000 wiped off. That's egregious. It's just, it's ridiculous how brazen they are in their hypocrisy. They're, they're just shameless, completely shameless. And it's not just politicians, because I talked about this the other day. Right-wing propagandists like Ben Shapiro denounced student debt relief on Twitter, saying, don't take out debt, you will likely be unable to pay off, and don't ask others to pay off your debts. But yet, the entirety of his $20,000 PPP loan was forgiven, interest and all. And the same is true with Steven Crowder, who denounced student loan cancellation after having his $70,000 PPP loan forgiven. I mean, these people are just completely shameless. They don't care how hypocritical they are. You can actually look at who took out PPP loans and whether or not they were forgiven, but yet they're denouncing loan forgiveness as if this is some sort of a bad thing when this is functionally a tax cut for working Americans who are struggling to pay off this debt. But because it doesn't benefit them, because it's not benefiting their wealthy buddies, well, all of a sudden it's bad. Don't let them fool you. These are hypocrites. They think that loan forgiveness is A-OK -okay only if it's benefiting them or Republicans in Congress who are already rich. But these are fucking hypocrites. And every single time they bring up how student debt cancellation is bad, throw this in their faces. Take a screenshot of the PPP loan that Marjorie Greene received that it was forgiven. And anytime she brings this up, respond to her on Twitter with that screenshot. Let them know that we're, we're not going to let them get away with their hypocrisy. We see them, and they're full of shit. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Wolf moralism. Wolf moralism. Wolf moralism. The dream I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.